Welcome to a quick start guide on to how to get your Excel file database connected to EasyBadges. This database functionality is included with the standard version of EasyBadges software, which is the next step up from Beginner Edition. You can upgrade to Standard Edition from the beginner for a one-time purchase of $290. You can also connect to outside HR software and other databases with higher versions of EasyBadges. Refer to the software brochure for more information. Connecting an Excel spreadsheet to the software makes it much easier to do bulk printing jobs, as you can auto-import from your Excel file instead of manually entering each entry one at a time. This will save you both time and labor costs. You can declare specific text boxes to hold variable information and to update that information after each print. The best way to set up your spreadsheet is to have a column for each piece of variable information that you want. No need to put a column for information that will be static on the card. So, if on this card I wanted to display first name, last name, and rank, I would need columns for each piece of information. Let's take a look at how the Excel spreadsheet should be formatted. I've pulled up the spreadsheet here that I want to import to my card and you can see that I have a column for first name, last name, rank, and photo because these are the objects that I am actually importing onto my card. And we can see on the card here I have first name, last name, rank, and a space for my photo to go. Once you have the Excel spreadsheet set up as you want it, click Database at the top and Connect. If you're using the Excel spreadsheet, select Direct Excel File Driver and click Next. Select Browse for .xls and navigate to where your Excel file is saved. Make sure all the fields that you want to import are being listed on the right hand side of the window. And we can see that here, first name, last name, rank, and photo. So I'm going to hit OK. Make sure the correct table is selected and hit Next. All of our columns are selected and you can leave Guide Columns default with just Excel row checked. And leaving the database filter blank as well. And content order default. If your spreadsheet is successfully imported, you should see your fields popping up on the right hand side with the contents of each field listed below. And we can see that here. Now that your spreadsheet is successfully imported into the software, we can begin to link our spreadsheet fields to the different text boxes. Start by selecting the text box you wish to link a field to and navigate to the source menu on the bottom right of the window. So I'm going to start off here by selecting my first name box and going to the source menu on the right. First, make sure that your source menu is set to database and the table is correct. And if I want to link this text box up to my first name column, I am simply going to change this column menu to first name. And I'm going to repeat the steps for my other text boxes. So I'm going to select last name, go to the source, change the source to database, and my column to last name. And I'm going to do the same for rank as well. Now we can cycle through our records using these arrows here at the top. Let's go over how to link our photos to our card. Start by clicking on the three dots next to your photo field in your database menu. Make sure your data type is set to point to indexed image. After this, click the three dots next to that menu. Click the three dots next to the image folder box. Navigate to where your database photos are saved. And select your folder. Ensure that the images in the file folder have the same names as the ones in the spreadsheet. You can run into issues with the software trying to find the images if the file names are different. Once the folder is selected, you are good to hit OK, and it will prompt you to refresh your database. This should begin to show a preview of the photos that you are importing. After you've done that, you can select your placeholder image here, go down to the source menu like we did for the text boxes, and change the source to be from the database and from the specific photo column. And if you refresh your database, the imported images should start showing up on your card. Once you are ready to print, go ahead and hit the printer icon up at the top left. If you want to print every record from your database, it's best to keep this database selection on range from start record to the total number of records in your database. You also have the option to only print specific records. If you click table view here, Next to your card back view button, you can look at a preview of the database you currently have imported into the software. And you can select the specific records that you want printed. So in this instance, I'm going to select my first and last record. I'm going to click print selected and select print selected records in browse view. And then this will only print my first and last record and instead of going all the way down the list. You also have the option to just print the currently displayed record. If you go to print, 
and you have range on, just change the range to current record, and it will only print the currently displayed record that you have. That about covers the steps to get your Excel spreadsheet connected to Easy Badges. If you're ever having trouble with any part of the process, do feel free to reach out to us. Our support agents are available to help you out 8 a.m. through 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, or over email at support at easybadges.com.